Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for being here. Today is the 1st of October 2018 and this is the Divine Guidance for the 1st and the 2nd of October 2018. Love and general readings, whatever I do. Um, I'm going to talk about each and every sign. There's There are timestamps. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you to all for your support and everything that you do for my channel. It's been fantastic. Now, as I'm doing these readings, Pluto has just gone direct, his station to go direct. So he's been, you know, out of service, let's say. We've been, do we've been redoing things for the past roughly four months. And Pluto is the ruler of Scorpio. So Pluto is at 18 degrees and 45 minutes of Capricorn, all right? And it rules Scorpio. Now there's a lot going on that is Scorpionic with Jupiter in Scorpio, Venus in Scorpio, getting ready to retrograde in about four days, right? So there's a lot of transformation and empowerment in anything to do with relationships, your status, how people see you in the world, your career, your money, and relationships of any sort, right? And it's also got to do with other people's money, right? Shared resources, anything to do with sexual intimacy. All those beautiful things are being highlighted at this time. So I'm going to be using the Tarot 3D by David Corsi, which is the main message. And I'm also using the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. It's an oracle deck by John Holland. Now I'm going to be doing timestamps. So Aries, let's begin with you. Okay, Aries, 1st and 2nd of October 2018. The main message, which would be only a major arcana card. That's what the Tarot 3D consists of. Only the major arcanas. Aries, what do you need to know? Okay. And we have the star. Wow, Aries, love the star for you. You may be dealing with an Aquarian person because the star does speak of Aquarius. Now, the star, of course, can be a wish come true at this time for you. Um, the star is also a healing energy, okay? So whatever trauma you have going on in your life, there is going to be a healing quality coming in. So this is social media, a lot of interaction. That's what Aquarius is all about. It's all about people, right? Social groups, being part of a group but being an individual, shining your unique light. And speaking of shining your light, the 1st to the 15th of October readings for Aries was Shine Your Light. So yeah, let's see what else we have in the next couple of days. So Aries, Aries. Okay, we have Shine. <laughs> You've got the sun. This is the sun, Aries. And we also have giving and receiving and the funny thing is is that it's come out um, in the reverse um, and I haven't planned for reversed cards so for some of you this is going to be the case where there is a lack of giving and receiving but we've got two healing qualities here we've got two major arcanas right the sun and the sun is the energy of Leo so we've got the Axis Leo Aquarius. This is where the North and South nodes are. So this is fated. What you're going through right now is part of your fate. It's destined. Destiny is at play here for Aries. Um, now you may be dealing with someone who has strong Leo, Sun in Leo, Moon in Aquarius or Rising Aquarius, whatever, whichever way it can go, it does not matter. This is a general reading, just so you know what the general energies are. But both cards speak of healing. The sun speaks of clarity as well. 
So we've got the sun and the star, the two most positive cards in the decks, right? The sun also speaks of children, creative pursuits, projects that you are that you have created. It looks as though it's time for you to show yourself, take on the energy of Leo and become a star. Some of you are really rising and getting into being on stage just like Leo is. Some of you are hitting fame at this time and the money is going to be coming in. The love is going to be coming in. This card is the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving, and um, people are giving to you. They're offering you things that are precious to you. They're offering you um, situations that will be that will bear fruit so stick to your guns stay on what you're doing right now you're on the right path this is for those of you that this card would be upright so this is also the energy of Libra and Venus will be retrograding back into Libra so if we are talking about love true love is coming through some of you may be at a distance to your partner to the person that you are connecting with through social media through the internet through the world wide wide web um, now some of you may be feeling as though if there has been some sort of a quiet period where you feel that there's there's a lack there hasn't been enough giving like you have been giving more than what receiving I think that things will change for you dear Aries it's time for you to receive and I think that Aries has been through a really tough time really tough time it's just been you've been going around in circles a lot of you and I think that the work that you've done with yourself it's time to receive dear Aries so yeah stardom stardom is coming up for me here as i said shining your light and giving to the world what what is deep within your core and something that is very very creative very creative indeed now as i said the money's coming in the offers are coming in for those of you that the offer has not come in yet it's just around the corner just around the corner and with your ruler Mars moving direct in Aquarius, okay, you are really powering up, really powering up. And with Pluto going direct in Capricorn, it's going to be really busy, busy time for you, busy in love, busy with projects, busy with family. Uh, for those of you that have been going through legal issues, okay, it, you know, the stars are shining for you things will work out now if you are waiting on um, finances to come through any uh, banks wills or loans that you are waiting on like other people's money it's going to come in but give it roughly around mid of November and you will see what a difference your life will be at others of you may be dealing with Uh, because this is pentacles right so, so this is earth energy others of you may be dealing with a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn now Sun moon or rising always always and the messages that come through could go the other way so keep that in mind you may have a partner who's reaching stardom but you've been behind them you've been supporting them so it's time for you to receive as well we do say that behind any famous or any um, successful person there is support there is another partner behind them that is supporting them so this is beautiful this is really beautiful so we've got as I said Aquarius Leo and we've also got Earth Taurus Virgo Capricorn or Libra 
and the sun uh, card can speak of pregnancy as well so those of you that are getting pregnant congratulations also one more thing the sun card is the card of true love all right so for those of you that have been hoping for clarity in love things are changing around for you it looks as though something really worthwhile there is a, a sense of innocence here okay and and you will be seeing that there is a lot of light on your reading a lot of light all right dear Aries I think that's the message that you will be receiving that's all I can get from those cards I would like to go on to Taurus but thank you so much for being here Aries don't forget to like share and subscribe commenting is beautiful too so Taurus Taurus what's happening with you Taurus on the first and second of October 2018 love and general reading Taurus Taurus okay this is your card Taurus and we have the star wow okay so those of you that are on the cusp Aries Taurus um, it looks as though you are shining your light to the world as well you've got a wish that's coming true healing is coming through something that you have been really striving to do within maybe a group but I, I believe that there is an idea here that you have come up with in the group and you're going to shine just like the star card amongst the people that you are working with um, whatever you are doing in a group situation Taurus okay okay we have take the lead there you go you see this is the three of wands take the lead dear Taurus um, and also because it's a wand card it does speak of work just what I was saying and oh my god lead <laughs> you don't make these up okay these things are just meant to be that's why I love the tarot so much so we've got the Emperor here some of you are reaching a point of taking those reins and leading the pack leading the group you are taking the form of the Emperor now the Emperor means business okay he is the leader in his career path let's say he's the the one who calls the shots he gives the orders now the lead card is a number four it speaks of family and home so some of you may be uh, really um, setting those goals on finding your stability in a family situation you know committing and putting in those first um, those those pillars in your in the temple of home what's going to be your home some of you may even be building I feel a new home um, so it's as though you know I see three and four even though the Emperor is um, a major arcana with the take the lead and then lead my god I mean yeah it's saying that take the initiative there is growth and stability here for you now sometimes with the Emperor because I see him as someone who's been through you know this is someone who's been through the mill they've been they've had the experience they've had they've had the hardships in their life so you're at the point of you have become the elder the wiser through experience and this is very very Saturnian Saturn in Capricorn and as I said with Pluto moving direct in Capricorn it's as though there is a powerful surge of newness transformative energy because Pluto is death and transformation right so you've gone within and you, some of you are still there some of you are still in that scorpionic energy um, let's not forget that you've got Jupiter in Scorpio which is right opposite your sign 
So a lot of you are still there in that dungeon, digging deep, but you're going to rise up like the phoenix, right? And you're going to come out a different person, much more mature, much more wiser, more stable, and um, be able to take the lead. Be able to uh, find find what you have been hoping to find. And when I say um, that, when I you know I've just said that message now, some of you, those of you that have been building, if there have been excavations been going on, it looks as though you've come across something that is quite priceless and it's going to give you a sense of stability and a sense of success. Now, because we've got the star card, this is a wish come true. Some of you may even have come up with, you know, um, having found some sort, some sort of fortune. I don't know what kind of fortune that would be, something that is very precious. And this is a distinct uh, message, so it's not going to be for all of you. Whatever the case, uh, again, the star does speak of, you know, social media being in the limelight, you know, shining your light, people seeing you. Um, and with the three, three of wands, even in career, I mean, this is, you're at an initial stage of growth, but some of you, yeah, could even be dealing with people at a distance, like spreading your wings through um, your business and working with international companies, people at, at a distance. Um, and others of you are just hoping to, to be able to, to move overseas. I feel as though some of you are wanting to move overseas and uh, like grow roots there. Now, the emperor can be someone who's quite wise, someone who can be a little bit, you know, um, restrictive in energy if this is not you. Um, for those of you that this is your partner, then this is someone who is a leader. So I think that you are meeting halfway because if you look at the card, there are two people here. It's like, you know, you're looking at your the uh, looking at your reflection in the mirror i do believe that in love you're both leaders and hopefully you can be on equal ground so you need to relate and understand that your 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 partner is also a leader so you need to come into equilibrium and understand that you're both the same you can both lead um as long as the competition is healthy and not too overbearing, okay? So I think that you do feel a sense of a sense of stability as well and I think that you feel a, a sense of security with knowing that. So very successful in career, dear Taurus. Now, as I said, if this is difficult energy in your life, it looks as though... Uh, this leader, this person in your life will be giving you a chance to shine your light. So as I said, competition comes in here, but I don't think that that's going to be um, difficult for you. I think that you can move past this, whatever that means for you. All right. Know that one, one, one more one more message is coming through. This person, whoever this is in your life, is coming from the heart, okay? So if they are a little bit restrictive with you, know that, that they want what's best for you because they truly love you, okay? And I needed to give you that message. Taurus, I think if you are dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries, and here we've got also Taurus, Aries, and again, fire. So we've got Aquarius, right? Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Sun, Moon or Rising. And here we've also got Taurus and Aries as well as Fire, as we always say with the Emperor, okay? Okay. 
I'm going to say also Capricorn and I will leave it at that. Okay, so Capricorn can be quite um, strict, strict energy, right? <laughs> and Capricorn is also very hardworking. So, okay, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing, dear Taurus. Um, also for commenting, sending you lots of love and blessings. Let's go on to Gemini. Gemini for the 1st and the 2nd of October 2018 Love in General. What is your message today? Gemini. Okay, we have the Death card and this is the sign of Scorpio. Very Plutonian. Very Plutonian with Pluto having gone direct a couple of hours ago yes very empowering very alluring too very scorpionic right Scorpio in uh, Jupiter in Scorpio Venus there some sort of transformation is happening with Gemini something is dying away something that has not been working for you you are transforming in anything to do with other people's money, uh, sexual intimacy, relationships on any level. And you are pushing forward. Whatever this is, you are powered up. Let's see, Gemini. Two cards for Gemini. What are you dealing with? Oh, my God. The death card again double Scorpio my goodness and it does say release I just got the goosebumps Gemini release 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 what has died release that that skin that you are shedding you are transforming big time And I feel a sense of, I feel Uranian energy, like there is some sort of a, like a rebellious sort of an energy here. I feel as though you're ready to, some of you are just ready to crack. Yeah, something, a lot of you guys are rebelling against something that has been very, very difficult on you let's see what else and we've got the daydreams and decisions this is the seven of cups and the seven of cups is piscean energy anything to do with pisces now seven is a spiritual number it is spirit it is where neptune is neptune is the divine love it's also wearing rose-colored glasses now, whatever you are letting go of, dear Gemini, and some of you may have 100%, you must have strong Scorpio in your, in your chart. Okay, your partner may be a Scorpio, sun, moon or rising. Others of you, it could be Scorpio, sun with Pisces rising or Pisces moon. It doesn't really matter. It can go either way. All I know is that you've got the death card twice. So for those of you um, that are seriously like physically losing someone, it's, I'm sorry to say, it's not easy. It's not easy. Um, and my condolences. But when we say release, I feel as though for those of you that are literally losing someone physically like, someone is passing, they are being released. They've obviously been through a lot of pain, through a lot of anguish, and it's time for them to, to heal. They will be released. They will be, the Seven of Cups is like, Neptune is the higher octave of Venus, right? So it's as though they're, they're going up to the divine. It looks as though the angels are calling for them. Um, apart from that, you know, this is a general reading. This is not going to happen for all of you. For 
many of you I believe that with double Scorpio there is a very strong transformation it's not a thing to take lightly this is massive this is truly massive and whatever you are letting go of you're going to have a lot of choices with the seven of cups and it's called daydreams and decisions so what this is saying is get out of that Neptunian energy get out of you know this uh, it's as though you've traveled outside of yourself dear Gemini you're up in the ethers you're up above you need to come back down to earth now some of you are really drowning your sorrows if you've gone through any sort of transformation whatever has died for you mentally physically um, you know metaphorically things die and that is a very healthy thing in life because when there is lack of movement and there is stagnation then that is way worse than moving on you need to move on you need to take one of those cups right one of these cups here which which is here it's here for you you've got the choices now the divine is going to help you make that choice because this is a seven right now also with this card I'm seeing strong spirituality and what this means to me is that you've got a strong decision to make some of you may be receiving this message through daydreaming through actual dreaming right through your dream state whatever that is that could be through meditation trust in that when you feel that that message comes through then you need to run with it okay so for those of you that are on the fence of you know closing that door you need to close that door and move on and you need to move on with love because cups are all about love okay there will be love for you some those of you that are single there are many cups coming at you you've got a lot of choices okay so you've got a decision to move forward and not to repeat the same old pattern that you've been going through because I feel as though with double Scorpio here double death you've been been going over in circles around in circles right and it's time to actually jump off jump off that merry-go-round stop daydreaming and do something make it real okay make it real now for those of you that are seriously I mean this is like as I said Uranian energy I feel as though some of you may have had problems with your nervous system so you may be taking drugs to calm yourself down I'm not going to say don't do that all right because if that's what if you are taking prescribed drugs then that is cool but don't prolong the um, you know taking medicine because that's really going to have you like very icy and you know you're gonna feel that you're high and you won't be able to make the right decisions for your life all right so don't overindulge in that and if that's not prescribed medicine then it's you know maybe over drinking whatever whatever you are taking to like help you move into la la land la la land is only for an instant don't get stuck there all right dear Gemini thank you for liking sharing and subscribing I do appreciate all the support from all of you um, and I also love reading your comments so I would love it if this resonated for you just you know let me know it's really really helpful because it helps me know that I'm helping you all right that keeps me going so okay next sign cancer my dear cancerian people okay the hermit this is a Virgo that you are dealing with some of you are just becoming the wiser 
the wiser one. Maybe you are looking for answers in anything to do with um, anything to do with work, family. Pluto has just gone direct, stationed to gone direct, which means it's still in its shadow, um, but it is slowly picking up speed. So transformation now <laughs> with Pluto moving direct. Okay, maybe you've come across something, maybe you're coming across information, which is really going to power you up. Power. It's going to really power you up. My goodness, I can't even talk. So you're going to become empowered with whatever you find and you are looking really seriously at a situation. You are one step before the wheel of fortune. So some of you are taking time out, okay? You are working alone, taking time out, meditating and that is going to really help you with whatever situation you are dealing with. Let's take two more cards. No, that's not it. For Cancer. 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 Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> I did get a sneak peek here. We've got the Ace of Cups. Love abounds, dear Cancer. Love abounds. And you've also got giving and receiving, which is the energy of, it's the Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles could be a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Now we've also got water here, sorry, water here, which is uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, like yourself. Sun, Moon, or Rising for all those signs that I just mentioned. And Libra. Because, you know, giving and receiving, we usually have the sign of Libra associated with that. Well, that is funny. And we've got the Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups uh, was also with Gemini had that card. And uh, this is Piscean energy. So the water sign would be Pisces, more than likely. So, wow, love abounds. It's just around the corner. Love is looking at you, Cancer, or you are looking at someone. Look at that eye. This reminds me of the third eye chakra, okay, which is all about what is, what, what can we see? You can now probably see who is in your heart, who, whose heart are you in? This is like receiving the clarity in something that you've been really looking for. Maybe you've been looking, for those of you that are single, you've been looking for your other half in a love situation and you've had many choices, yes, many choices. Look at that, right? Um, and some of you may even be on a spiritual level equal on a spiritual level because looking at the daydreams and decisions it's a very spiritual energy just like the hermit right so maybe you um there could be communication through telepathy just a feeling of um like when you're daydreaming when you're in a in an energy of not being fully grounded and you know you're sort of in a meditative um, moment I feel that that's when the um, the connection happens I really do so when you think of you know the person that you love um, that's when they can probably feel it as well now, this card is called Daydreams and Decisions. So, yeah, daydreaming, that's, I feel as though a lot, of, a lot of you, like, you're at the point where you're sitting behind your desk and you're just daydreaming of this love that's in your life. And I feel as though with the daydreams and decisions, with the giving and the receiving, because we've got six and seven, right? I feel as though there's going to be a balancing out, obviously, 
a balancing out and a receiving of a lot of love. If we put the Ace of Cups with the Seven of Cups here, we've got eight. Eight of Cups, now eight is the number of Scorpio. Scorpio is all about, you know, transformation, giving and receiving. That's the house of shared resources, right? Some of you are really thinking of moving in and sharing and, you know, being, being as one, right? Now, the Seven of Cups, as I said, Piscean energy, it's Neptune. It's the divine love. That's why I feel as though this is a very, very strong connection, very strong connection in love. Now, if this is work, if this is work, then this could be a partnership in work, right? Where you're both bringing equal amount of prosperity, um, ideas, money, you're both bringing in the equal amount in your business and it's like, you know, your cup is full. It's as though being on the same page with each other is only going to give you many more choices, right? Now, because this is the card of Libra and we've got the Hermit who could be a solicitor, for others of you this could be something legal, you may be um, moving into a legal situation where you are um, hoping to receive what was owed to you. Some of you may be taking someone to court because they haven't been paying up. They haven't been paying their... Um, maybe you've provided a service to them and they haven't paid you or whatever that is. Um, I have a feeling that someone backed out on some sort of a deal, like there was some sort of a project or a deal that you were looking at that was really amazing for you. It was the, the beginning of it and there was promise of, you know, a lot for you financially, emotionally, but I feel as though they backed out and they were, they could have been quite deceptive as well. Right, because this is like the magician in a in a sense. It's like pulling the wool over your eyes. Energy sometimes the seven of cups can be Pisces can be quite deceptive, right? What else? I think I do think that Cancer, you've been waiting a long time for this. You've been on your own, for some of you, this is true. You've been on your own for, for quite some time and it looks as though the, the, um, the wheel is gradually turning. But you know what? You need one piece of information, one more, one more answer, one more conversation, one more whatever you need before you can get to this big change that you have been hoping for and I feel as though that will be when you come out of solitude whatever that means for you and some of you may have been just you know not dating for a long time because you have someone within your heart that is you know not this is someone who stands out to you this is someone who is very special even though yes you may be very popular you've got a lot of choice in love right but you're here you've only got your eyes on this person here and they're coming in for you now family is also going to be very supportive in whatever you're going through it looks as though everyone's putting in giving in something before you can have choices in relation to family and this is business as well all right. All right, dear Cancer. Okay, so I will leave it at that. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting. And I'm wishing you all the best. Okay, let's go on to the next sign. Okay, Leo. 
Leo and your message on the 1st and 2nd of October 2018. Let's see what is important for Leo to know. Leo, here we are. And we have the Balance card. This is Temperance. Temperance is the sign of Sagittarius. So Sun, Moon or Rising, you may be dealing with a Sagittarian person. Sagittarius deals with foreign places and people, higher education, um, spirit, it's the divine, okay, and we do have the angel here, so know that the angels are working, working for you, dear Leo, giving you something that is going to give you healing, and you need to be patient though, wow. <laughs> You need to be patient for your wishes to come true. This is the Nine of Cups. So what else do we have? Well, oh my God, Leo, coming together, the Two of Cups. Oh my goodness. Goodness me. So we've got this. You're going through a new portal, but you need to, you need to be patient. It's coming. Um, the temperance card does speak of tempering yourself and waiting for the outcome that is being made for you. This magic potion is going to be something that's going to make you so happy that you won't know what to do with yourself. I feel as though there is so much happiness here. Some of you are traveling. You are moving overseas. Others of you are completing completing um, your higher education, your studies, your receiving your degree, one that you've been very patient with. You've had to work hard and let's not forget that this is a number 14, right? So you've gone through the transformation. You are ready now. It's as though you're being reborn, reborn in love, reborn in anything that you love, coming together for those of you that are traveling to go and see family, and it could also be a partner who is overseas, you are coming together, you are meeting up, and this is amazing for you. I mean, dreams coming true. Your dreams are being fulfilled, Leo. This is, I'm ecstatic for you. I'm so over the moon. And the whole world is in your hands the whole world you've got in your hands, you feel as though the happiness is so big and so amazing that you just can't, kind of, you're pinching yourself so you can believe that it's literally happening. I feel as though some of you lost the faith along the way because temperance does speak of faith. It speaks of spirituality as well. You've lost the faith that this was not going to pan out, but guess what it is <clears throat> look here look here here it's as though we've got two people that are building something together okay two people that are have been working hard towards something two people that have been very patient if this is a partnership in love then both of you have been patient you would known that this is a divine soulmate relationship right because the two of cups is two people that are on the same page two people that think alike two people that feel the same when one hurts the other one feels it it's as though it's a twin right now <clears throat> and i feel that there's been a lot of soul searching with this these energies here a lot of soul searching and that's probably where the transformation came through um you've matured, you've grown, you've become the wiser one and you know that through patience, through patience, you can win whatever you, you need. Like the universe will give you what you've put in. The work you've put in is coming back, okay? You are being paid back. Now for those of you that have been waiting on money to come in, Maybe love comes in with money. I don't know why I'm saying that. Because we've got two cards that equal an 11. 
and 11 is justice, right? So for those of you that have uh, gone through the legal system, you are being justified. What you have been um, fighting for is going to be yours. And this is on a literal and metaphorical, in a metaphorical sense as well. So yeah, what goes around comes around. This is very karmic and this is very dharma for you. It's time for you to receive Leo. Now, because with this card, I've got these two hands, they're up in the in the ethers, right? Um, for those of you that have been working in a group, um, then I think that you're all on the same page and the power within all of you has been, it's as though it's a laser beam energy which has struck jackpot, right? Um, so, yeah, whatever you have created with your work at your career um, it's time to to shine your light it's time to show it to the world it's time for people to know about it okay now also one more thing I'd like to say that if there has been a relationship which has been kept um, in the dark from people I think that you are releasing the information. You are telling the world about it. Okay. Wonderful message. Thank you, Leo, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I do hope that was helpful to you. Um, I would like to say um, that with all that watery energy, um, yes, strong emotions are very high emotional time but also you may be dealing with someone who's as I said Sagittarius but also um, they have got strong water so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay Leo thank you thank you so much sending you lots of love wow okay Virgo Virgo Scorpio Scorpio and death is here, which says that you're going through strong transformation in career, in your status, in the way people see you. Why? Because Pluto has stationed to go direct and Pluto is all about transformation. So you're right on the ball. Pluto is in Capricorn. That means career. It means the father. It means the authority, law. Um, there is some sort of a death and a transformation taking place for Virgo. Let me take one card and one more card for Virgo, please, Spirit Guides and Angels. Virgo, what are they transforming from? And we know that Jupiter and Venus are in Scorpio, so a lot of you are working through relationship issues. One more card, please, Spirit. One more. Or Virgo. One more card. Okay, this one jumped into my hand. So it's, yes, it's Embrace. Wow. This is beautiful. The World card. The World card, and this could mean a completion. What sort of a completion? opportunity beckons so we've got wow it looks like the world again here look at that Virgo okay you have just opened up a pearl you've cracked the shell open and there is a pearl sitting in there you have come across something that is very precious something that is uncommon, something that is not easy to get to. Um, yeah, I see I see success here. There is there is something coming in. there is an offer coming in that's going to help you express yourself. You're going to shine your light. It's gonna shine on your heart. And this is very Leo. Some of you may be dealing 
may be dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising. We've got Scorpio here as well. And we've also got, because the, the, uh, the World card, of course, is very Saturnian and that's where Capricorn is, right? Now, the World card usually has Taurus, Scorpio, the fixed signs. Aquarius, Leo, that's where the nodes are, dear Virgo. So whatever is happening in fixed energy, in any fixed, uh, in all of those fixed signs for you, there is going to be a completion, right? If this has been someone who's been very rigid with you, not opening up to you, and this could go the other way, you could have been in that um, position as well. I, f I feel as though this is uh, changing. There is an ending here, a completion. And there is also, as I said, an offer here, and it says opportunity beckons. So if you get that opportunity, you grab it and you run with it, right? So the world, wow, the world card does speak of international places. Some of you may be given a, a chance to travel, a chance through social media for whatever you are creating, if this is in business. And if we look in, look here, we've got the heart. We can see the heart here. So whatever is completing, it's a successful completion and your heart is going to be tickled with it. It looks as though your heart is opening. Like the lotus flower, it is opening and you are open to to embrace whatever this is. Embrace whatever opportunity comes to you Virgo and some of you may be feeling the embrace of the world in whatever you are doing within your business now as I said we've got Scorpio and we've also got Pisces and Cancer here as well now I'd like to say that the Saturnian energy that I feel here okay because you know completing a cycle and standing in your integrity is very world-like right so and this could be in your opportunity uh, in your career sorry and how people see you in the world so yeah it looks as though people are really going to be seeing you and this is the card after the judgment and that is rising up from your ashes so a lot of you are at the point of whatever was not working is practically, you know, you're at the tail end of the storm, whatever you've gone through, um, and you are transforming into something completely different, Virgo. All right. Yes, and if we look here, we've also got the eternity symbol. So that is Leo. Yeah, you've been doing something over and over again. The universe has been there guiding you. Whatever you have produced in anything, in family, love, business, relationships, yeah, any sort of relationships, it's it's beautiful. It really is. Grab the opportunity and go. Oh, next sign. Libra. We've got the, uh, what am I saying? We've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is, again, Sagittarian energy. This is Jupiter. Jupiter in Scorpio. So this is Jupiter trying to find find you and expand on luck and anything to do with you, Libra. Libra, it's time for Jupiter to work his magic. And your ruler is in Scorpio, so anything to do with what you value. Let's take two cards. Two cards for Libra. So there is some sort of a completion because that's a number 10, right? Some sort of a successful completion. The wheel is turning, hopefully, and I'm not doing reversals, hopefully in your favor. And we have detach. We've got the card of Libra. Isn't that amazing? And we also have death release. My God. My God, Libra, detach and release. I feel that some of you are really 
detaching and releasing. You are, it's as though you're flying from an airplane, right? And you are jumping with a parachute. You are parachuting and you are going to be flying from above with that parachute seeing you're going to have a bird's eye view of what's going on in this world and there's going to be a transformation which will help you like shed that dead skin you're shedding dead skin libra some of you are getting rid of a scorpio person maybe um and moving in with a sagittarian that could be or you are moving in with a Sagittarian who's got Moon in Scorpio or if you have Scorpio in strong in your chart, then I feel as though look at the white dove that this woman is holding. She is letting it go. So I feel as though whatever you are letting go of, dear Libra, if this is a relationship that you don't want to end, let go and then see if it comes back to you. With letting go, that's when the change is going to come in. By letting go, just release. Release whatever you have been putting up with because the justice card is, of course, justice is trying to find your balance. Justice is going through a legal matter. Okay, and... Of course, you're going to have to be strong if this is the case for you. But know that with Jupiter here, and Jupiter does speak of legalities as well, know that keeping the faith, keeping the faith, because Sagittarius is about truth, about faith, about spirituality, and it's the divine. It is the divine. Know that whatever is changing for you right now, so you've got 10, 11, and 13, you're missing the 12, which is the hanged man. So it's going to be a quick process. A quick process. And I feel as though with this card here, you are being showered with gifts. Look how he's opening up his, what he's wearing, his cape, whatever this is. He's opening up and collecting everything that is falling from above anything that is coming from the divine and there is a lot of light a lot of light so this is like you are aligning yourself with the divine and you are receiving and know that whatever you receive from above that's going to help you change that's going to be the transformation for you now with Jupiter in Scorpio, for those of you that have found out of ill, ill um, people around you, people that have been um, doing you wrong, that, have, that haven't had your best interest at heart, know that it's time to release them. It's time to let them go. And it's time to, you know, for that weight off your shoulders to come off. You're, you're restarting. With the 10, it breaks down to the 1. You're beginning a new journey, right? You, you can make the magic. You can make the magic because 1 is, of course, it's the um, magician and it does speak of communication. So communication is key for you. And 11, of course, is the portal that you're going through. It's a new portal. Now, this could be anything to do with home as well. Some of you are really, some of you are moving home. Some of you are changing drastically your, your um, place of residence, the people that you live with. I feel that there is a transformation in your home environment as well. And some of you may be literally moving across, across the sea somewhere at, at a distance because this is Sagittarius. Some of you can are just getting freed. You're freeing yourselves from anything that has been binding. And that could be even legally. Okay. Dear Libra, thank you so much for your likes, shares and subscribes. 
and commenting. Do keep well. Sending you lots of love and blessings. Okay, Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. Scorpio, three cards. Way too many. Way too many. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. From the 1st till the 2nd of October, 2018. And we've got the world card. The world. Let's see what else we have for Scorpio. So a successful completion. This is Venus in Scorpio. Now, whatever has been difficult for you, because this is very fixed energy, know that things will change. There is a completion of stagnation, a completion of not being able to move forward. It feels as though you're going, you've got some sort of a rebirth. Yes, you've got a rebirth. Something that you love, something that you value is being born. Scorpio. Let's take two more cards and see. And we've got believe and succeed. This is beautiful. The six of wands. And we also have number 10, flow. This is Jupiter. This is the wheel of fortune. This is glorious. I just noticed that at the bottom of the deck, you've got the sun there. Okay, dear Scorpio. So some of you are moving, others of you are moving internationally, others of you are moving to something that is going to succeed. You are succeeding, but you need to believe in yourself. Look at the wheel here, it's turning. Look at those emotions. He's holding his heart. Okay, this is a completion. This is Jupiter, the benevolent planet giving you a successful ending to whatever you have completed. And this could be in career, this could be in studies, higher education, um, even in spirituality, you may be changing spiritually. Like spirituality and the divine and you aligning yourself is really going to help you move into a new cycle, into a brand new cycle. Next card after the world is the full. You are beginning a new cycle. So you are ending, obviously, something that was very successful for you. But now there is even more to come for you. Look at the light. You are heading towards the light. So I believe that a lot of you are maturing um, spiritually. You are aligning. You really are. Look at that light. Okay, so you need to believe, dear Scorpio, if you have any trouble in believing in yourself, then the universe is saying, don't do that. Because the wheel here is saying flow, just go with the flow, you'll see that let go and let go and it's as though you've put in the hard work, you've gotten to a point of success, but now you need to let go because Jupiter is bringing more in for you, okay? Just go with the flow. And Jupiter is all about belief. It's your belief. It's standing in your truth. So I'd like to say that for those of you that, that have gotten to a point in love where there is some sort of a completion, a successful completion, it looks as though... Um, things are changing up for you so if you've been dating someone and you you know it's gone just fab you've been really balanced together you it's working really well for you you are moving in with your partner and that's why um i'd like to say that it's going to be very successful you've got success on two cards here some of you may be even tying the knot and going on a trip going on a honeymoon. Others of you, if this is career, you know, Jupiter is going to be moving into your second house of earned income early November. So it's been a beautiful ride, dear Scorpio, but 
There's more to come for you. There is more to come. Now, with the World card, if there have been difficulties, you've been standing strong. You've paid your dues. You've put in the hard work, right? And your, your ruler, Pluto, has just in the past three hours stationed to go direct. This is you being empowered. You are not in a slow rowing boat here. You are on a speedboat. I hear those motors beginning and you're going for more success. Good on you. Good on you. So you may be dealing with either a Sagittarius, a Capricorn, or another fire sign, so Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, right? And Sagittarius, as I said. Now, it could be sun, moon, or rising. Okay. I think that they are your messages. Nothing else is coming through. Let's go on to the next sign. Thank you so much, dear Scorpio. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Um, you are very appreciated, of course. And uh, showing your appreciation um, would be wonderful. And that's just, you know, liking, sharing, subscribing, or even commenting. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Next sign, Sagittarius. What's coming in for Sag? Sagittarius, the 1st to and the 2nd of October 2018, Love and General Reading. Sagittarius, we have the Hermit. Okay, so you may be dealing with a Virgo. The Hermit is a number nine, one step before the Wheel of Fortune. Now, Jupiter is, <clears throat> excuse me, is your ruler. And it is in Scorpio, so it's, it's in your 12th house, which is very dark, hidden. You're looking for your way forward know that when jupiter hits your sign right it looks like all the blessings are coming in for you and that will be happening on the 8th of november so not long to wait dear sag so it's a time of your ruler being in the 12th house which is looking for the answers the house of pisces and scorpio pisces in the natural horoscope would be is the 12th house but for you your 12th house is Scorpio so Jupiter is there and so is Venus so you're looking for information on anything to do with love money Pisces is also the divine it's a very spiritual house and you are very spiritual as well so there is a lot of growth spiritual growth here I see Let's see. And we have the star, which is called Heal. This is beautiful. Some of you are dealing with an aquarium. And we have the crown chakra, which is a number seven. Now, the crown chakra speaks of spirituality. How on point could that be? So, dear Sad, you know. You have the knowing within you. You are receiving the download from the universe that you have the knowledge. You have the knowledge. You know what you need to do if you need to heal. Now this is the star card. It's a card of healing. It's a card of wishes coming true. It's also a card of social media and interaction through the um through the web right so the star is also a card of hope so what you're trying to do here with the hermit is for those of you that have been in a relationship where there's been uh, not enough there hasn't been enough communication so you've been looking for the answers you're looking at the finer details I would like to say that 
sometimes when we look too deep we may find things that are disturbing and that's your ruler being in Scorpio sometimes the things that we find will help to heal us will make a dream come true but and this is a general reading so for some of you it could have been something um, gnarly something that you did not expect that was not you know helping you in on your path for others of you whatever you are finding the information that you're finding and becoming the hermit being the guru the wise person that you are because you are the, the guru dear Sage you are very very strong in your beliefs you you stand up for the truth right whether this is in your advantage or at a disadvantage for you most important for you the most important thing for you is the truth and that's maybe some of you have got in your moon or rising sign you've got strong Virgo or Aquarius doesn't really matter the point is that you have a knowing within you and for those of you that are not trusting in that know that with your crown chakra being open okay so aligning yourself and having a healthy a healthy um, disposition right so opening up that crown chakra and opening up and shining your light to the world because you've got the star here know that whatever you are pushing through in these couple of days know that by being aligned you can get to um, the desired outcome right now as I said the hermit is Virgo but it's one step before the wheel so it looks as though you are soul searching here soul searching and I think that it's going to be very interesting your next reading do look out for that because you are receiving the download actually I'm going to take one more card one more card for you what does the um, the divine want to help you know what do you need to know how many cards do we have here three I will take the top card right okay so sadness and isolation three of swords goodness me goodness me so sadness and isolation yes that's probably why we've got the heel card so there is some sort of a heartache or heartbreak that you are going through and know that whatever you find when peeking around when looking for that information know that with your crown chakra open the divine is helping you move through this it's giving you the clarity okay because it's it's like sending you information it's sending you the download that you need to heal yourself and with Venus going retrograde for those of you that have been heartbroken by your partner someone that you have been dating or committed to know that with Venus moving retrograde there may be a, a, a sense of healing because the star is also the wish card right and you are close to completion know that you may be able to mend this broken heart with the support of the divine I don't believe that a lot of you this is the end I really don't believe that if this is in love if this is in anything else that has broken your heart know that you can mend it quickly okay I don't think that this is long-lasting energy right because you're at the nine the ten is a completion okay I'm just looking at yeah now with the Sun card that was underneath the deck as I showed it to you um, that's the card of Leo and that is shining your light that is uh, clarity that is healing of course and that is very you know it's the North Node in Leo so 
know that wherever you have wherever you have Leo in your chart, right, whichever house, for those of you that are astrology lovers, know that the nodes will be moving. So it was fated what happened. It was fated and maybe, you know, sometimes we need to go through that wormhole to get to the light through the other end. Whatever is breaking your heart, it wasn't meant to be. And it's better to be safe than sorry. So that's it. That's the message. That is the message for Sagittarius. Okay. Now the swords, the swords could be air. You may have been broken um, by an air sign. So Aquarius, more than likely you had the star. Gemini or Libra. Okay, let's go to the next sign, which is the sign of Capricorn. Dear Capricorn, what is happening for you? First and the 2nd of October 2018, Capricorn. Here it is. We have the Taurus card, the Hierophant. Very, um, these go really well together, Capricorn with Taurus. Why? First of all, they're both earth signs, but you know, the Hierophant sometimes can be quite um, restrictive energy because you have to, um, you're stuck in a commitment, you're stuck in a contract, business or love doesn't matter, you're stuck in a religious way of needing to do things in a religious way, whereas you don't want to do that. So there is restrictive energy here with the Hierophant. Now the Hierophant can be a card of spirituality and belief. It can also be a card of um, structures, right? A hierarchy, anything to do with um, big um, groups. Let's see, because this card is really... Uh, taking me off track. Yes, if you are part of a big association, a big group, a corporate um, job scene, right, then the Hierophant, here's a number five and fives bring in change. So let's see what's going on here. We've got share the love, which is the three of cups, and we've got someone um, handing you their heart. Yes, share the love and sharing is caring, right? Three of cups. And then we've got the darkest fears. So the darkest fears is the nine of swords. And this is very mental energy. So being up in your head and not being able to sleep, trying to get out of something. Now, is it a committed partnership, relationship, a binding situation at work? Is it a group? Is it a group um, environment that you're needing to get out of? Because all these swords, and we've got you know the, the phases of the moon here. All these swords, with the nine of swords, are you know lack of sleep, lack of. There's a lot of tension, a lot of nervous tension here, dear Capricorn. And, you know, Pluto has just moved a station to go direct in your sign, which speaks of power. It speaks of powering up. It speaks of the darkest and deepest uh, part of our psyche. So it could mean that you are going within, worrying about some sort of a, something that was celebrated before has now turned sour so what could that be for you? But darkest fears does speak of um, nightmares as well. So sharing the love and darkest fears, sharing the love, what could that mean for you? Some of you may be in a relationship where your partner wants to do things differently on a, an intimate level and they want to maybe have someone join 
join you in a three-way situation and this is scaring you to death okay now we've got air qualities so we've got Gemini Libra Aquarius and we've also got we've got Taurus as well as Pisces Cancer and Scorpio now Scorpio is where Jupiter is where Venus is so that is looking at things that are hidden in anything to do with intimacy right and because we've got the three of cups here I'm looking at three people those of you that are fearing that your partner has done the dirty on you if you are in a committed partnership relationship um, then you are up in your head and I want to take one more card because I can I want a bit more clarity on this nine of swords oh okay and here we go we've got the three of three of Pentacles reach out another three so this could be happening at work yeah if this is career and money now we've got Earth here as well, so Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. If this is money uh, and career, then I would say that things are going to be great. You need to keep the faith, right, because Taurus is all about earned income. Taurus is all about, um, you know, it's the money house. It's what we value, right? So Taurus speaks of value and Uranus is in Taurus. So whatever does not whatever is not valued it will be broken down there will be a rebelling by Uranus or by someone around you now another three two threes here so again anything to do with work um, celebrations at work I think that you are fearing the worst but with the three of Pentacles this is like you are fine-tuning your skill you're doing a wonderful job and being congratulated for those of you that are thinking that and maybe even because of gossip at work that people are backstabbing you then that's not the case so get out of your head this is very very mercurial so Mer mercury is in Libra and it's in the house of partnership work family home doesn't matter so there are slight worries, not slight worries, they're major worries with a nine. There are worries about partnership, right? But know that whatever partnership relationships we are working through right now with Venus and uh, Jupiter and Scorpio, know that things are changing. Things will be redone. But if we are talking about work, don't worry. The Three of Pentacles says that there is expansion and growth here. There is no worry here. And others of you may be, if you are dealing with an air sign, then yeah, they are causing, they are the, the root of the problem. So some of you may be reaching out to another earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, I think that I will leave it at that, dear Capricorn. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and commenting as well. You are very appreciated, and that is very kind of you. Hope that that was helpful. Let's look at the next sign, which is the sign of Aquarius. Okay, dear Aquarius. For the 1st and 2nd of October 2018, love and general divine guidance, Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, one card, here we are. And we have the death card, which is the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio. And that could be your sun, moon or rising. Or you may be dealing with another Scorpio individual. So whatever is happening with Jupiter and, and Venus in Scorpio is going to bring in change for you. Aquarius, spirit guides and angels. Two cards for Aquarius. We've got one card that's really showing itself.
No. No. Yes. Here. Okay. So we have coming together. We've got the Two of Cups. And we also have lead, which is the emperor. Okay. So, coming together is the two of cups. Now, you may be coming together with another Scorpio or with another Taurus or Aries. Um or with another water sign, so Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, I'm going to have to say that as well. Coming together is like, you know, two people being bal balanced out. They, they are focusing here on something that is like magic. They are, let me just look at this properly. Yes, it's like a pearl. It's like a pearl that's shaping into a heart right and it looks as though they're offering something precious to the universe so you know when we offer to the universe then it will come back to us so this card to me is telling me that you need to offer you need to sacrifice something before you can take the lead before you can find your stability dear Aquarius so what I want to say is as well that to transform if you are in a relationship or partnership that is dying, that is transforming, that is changing, maybe even, you know, you are getting to the end of it, then this card here is saying that you need to sacrifice something. Be more giving, right? Be more giving. Um, because with the emperor, this is quite difficult energy. The emperor is not someone who is very emotional. They don't show their emotions. They put on a brave front. And you may be doing that. You may be doing that in a family situation because this is number four. Four is the house of family. So you need to be more giving, more sincere, calm down, humble yourself. And I, I believe that you need to not be so rigid with the people around you, with the person that you are dealing with. Now, as I see with this card, it looks like it is showing two people here. So it's as though, it's as though, you know, we are looking at your shadow side. You are coming forth, coming out of your shadow self to the light. And with this, what he's wearing, the medallion, whatever this is, the heart he's got on his chest. For me, this is saying that you need to open your heart more and show more emotion. For if this is a relationship that is just transforming and, you know, um, staying together, then you need to show more love because there needs to be an equal balance here. If the relationship is ending, then... That will be because you want to be the authority here and maybe there is a clash with, you know, um, you know, a power struggle and Pluto can be very much about power struggles. Here it says lead. It says lead. So if, if you are the emperor in your house, uh, with your family, in, in your career, at work, then it says take the lead. So, yeah, show the others the right thing to do. That's the um, message that I need to give you. Show other people that you can lead. Now, if you are in a team at work, taking the lead, dear Aquarius, taking the lead is going to balance out the... Uh, the partnership, right? Someone needs to be the leader. And here we've got like two people, but it's two people that are really on the same page, right? So when one is not feeling up to, I want to say that they both balance out each other. So there's a sense of uh, Libran energy here in equilibrium, right?
Now, with this card, I also see spirit. Someone is there. It's it's like a twin. I don't know what this means, and this is one message. It's like someone is with you in spirit, and they're 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 keeping your back. They're really, really taking care of you. They're behind you and with you all the time. I want to say that. And this could have been a father, a um, grandfather, a brother, an elder brother, or even a younger brother. doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, that's what I feel with this card. All right, dear Aquarius, I think they are the message messages for you at this time. Um, yes, Aquarius has been through quite a bit with Mars, Mars in your sign and the South Node, so it hasn't been easy for you guys at all. So anyway, it's starting to loosen up a bit for you. Dear Aquarius, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing and commenting. Sending you lots of love and blessings to you. Now, let's go on to the next sign and we have Pisces. Last but not least, dear Pisces. 1st and 2nd of October 2018. Pisces and we have the Empress this is beautiful now the Empress is Libra Taurus some people say Aries as well for me it's mostly uh, Libra and Taurus why because they are the two signs that are ruled by Venus so this could be a mother figure for you dear um, I was gonna say Aries dear Pisces and some of you may be on the cusp with Aries, yes. So let's take two cards. So something is growing for you. Something is taking form. And in a matter of six months, you will have it in your hands. Pisces. We've got clarity of belief. The Ace of Swords. So look, we've got the butterfly here. Standing in your truth is going to help transformation come through. And then we've got the darkest fears, which is the nine of swords. But I'm going to take one more card on this nine. And we've got the ten, the wheel of fortune. I wanted to say that, goodness me, because we've got, we've got the ace of swords and then we've got the nine of swords, they equal up and make a 10 so 10 breaks down to a 1 of course all right so and then we've got another 10 here which is the uh, energy of Jupiter Jupiter in Scorpio is bringing in change nevertheless this is Sagittarian energy so we've also got Sagittarius here we've got Aquarius Gemini and Libra and we've also got Scorpio I'm gonna say because of the butterfly right So Libra as well as Taurus. Now Taurus is where Uranus is. Taurus is uh, Uranus is breaking down in Taurus what we don't value. Now the Empress can speak of uh, manifestation. This is you know loving and nurturing energy. This could be a mother, a mother which is there for you, standing by you, standing by your side. She is beauty. She's the mother of earth and it's time to receive the harvest. Now, some of you may, be, have, may have fallen pregnant and if you are dealing with an air sign, you are standing up uh, and speaking your truth. And if you are dealing with this air sign, they are just up in their head and they, they get a shock. They got a shock. They did not expect this. This wasn't planned. And um, it's like the, they're in their head about this. What do we do? This was not planned. What can we do? This is their darkest fears. 
And with Jupiter being in Scorpio and Venus being there, Scorpio is all about intimacy and things that have been hidden. So some of you, and this is not for everyone of course, may be uh, finding out the truth that you are pregnant and giving this out, speaking your truth, right? And it's not very well received but it's going to change because this is the wheel of fortune, right? Which is the energy of, yes, completion, but Jupiter is the benevolent planet. It's also the planet of expansion and growth. So your tummy is going to be expanding and growing. Now for others of you, if this is a mother that you are speaking your truth to and you are, you know, I feel as though there's skeletons coming out of the closet, does not matter whatever it is, you are speaking your truth and that's what is happening in Scorpio. You are speaking your truth and if you have got a mother or just a mother figure who is a Libra, then they are freaking out. But know that with the one and the nine, it's a ten. It's the darkest before the dawn, dear Pisces. So yes, you are speaking your truth. You may even have strong air in your chart and you are like, coming out and telling people the truth, telling the, the truth to the world. And it's time for you because Sagittarius, which is the ruler of, um, sorry, Jupiter, which is the ruler of Sagittarius, Sag is all about the truth, standing in your truth and believing, believing that you, you can be who you are. You are a free spirit. Okay, you don't need to be in this energy here. What else do we have? Now, if this is career, um, then wow, wow, you, I mean, you, you fear the worst. You really fear the worst. But no, it ain't happening. There is a transformation happening here. This is a success, a successful new beginning. For those of you that are needing to cut someone out of your life, whether this is a business partner, a romantic partner, a parent, a mother figure, which maybe hasn't been so loving and nurturing, maybe has been very selfish, right? And not being there for you, not, um, how do I say it? not supporting you and, and your life, then, well, what can I say? If that's what you need to do, that's what you need to do. Whatever is going on, we've got change here. We've got drastic change. Now, business, even though you are fearing the worst, no. It's manifesting. You are manifesting. You are collecting. This She's a three. She is a three. And as I said, you are a lot of you are still in your head. You're stuck in your darkest fears. You are actually having nightmares about this. But it's, you know, it's all up in your head, really. It's, if you've been down, if that wheel has been down for you, it's time for a change. Look at these two cards together. Look at them. Now, Pisces, um, you have Chiron that just moved into your, it's moving retrograde, it's moved back into your sign in the past few days and it will be there for the next three months. Now Chiron is the wounded healer, Chiron is the, uh, our, you know, previous life wounds, it's also very, you know, the, our deepest psyche it's it's just like very plutonian right because chiron was the wounded healer he was the centaur who was wounded by his own people so having chiron moving back into your sign it says that past life issues um and things like that are coming back into your um into your mind, into your psyche, into your life, 
but know that this is the last of it okay so once it moves out that's it it won't be in your sign for a long long time to come so yeah this is a past life trauma which is coming back but with the empress here and the card of jupiter here the will of fortune know that it's not going to be as bad as what you think okay so get out of that mental anguish right Okay, dear Pisces, I think that that will do for now, for the next couple of days. Sending you lots of love, lots of blessings. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and um, liking, sharing, and commenting. And just letting you know that I am going to be doing more readings. I will be doing Venus retrograde in Scorpio. So. Um, and that will be in the next couple of days. So look out for those videos. All right, dear Pisces, thank you so much. Sending you lots of love. Bye.